I'm impatient with any other transport now. It can be scary if you're not used to it. And gradually my face just started going redder and redder. It's incredibly painful and really slow. <laughs> it's like you're never getting anywhere, like, you know. This particular frame we have chosen because it's a very cool design. It's a, a mixty frame, so that's something that was built in late 70s, I reckon. It has this dual bar that makes the, the bicycle very special and also can be ridden by men and women, which is in this particular project quite important. Dismantling a bike, depending on how stuck the bits are, takes between one or two hours. Nothing has to remain on the bike and then for the paint to be applied and then for the paint to dry, it takes about a week. So we got the frame back yesterday. We decided to put a handmade Italian saddle on it and also fake leather grips on it so that there is some kind of a of colorful thing between the blue and the silver and the cream tires and the brown saddle. That's a combination that works very, very well. But it is generally very, very satisfying. You, you do create something from bare material and also a material that was waste material to begin with, which is something that I think our city could be about. Dublin is this kind of mix of new and old and cyclists and pedestrians and stuff. They couldn't steal it because they couldn't get that big chain off it. So they took the seat and they tightened all the brakes and I had to literally put it on my back and carry it through town and it was like in the middle of a heat wave. I love bringing my daughter to crash on the bike because she takes in all the surroundings. She's learning new words just from being on the bike. I'm a good vehicular cyclist in traffic. Probably not going to win the Tour de France any day soon, but I'm all about getting in and out of work. I find I can get places quicker even than public transport. It gives you a bit of an adrenaline rush and you feel the wind in your face and you know if you're listening to music you're like oh I'm badass on my bike. In the last couple of years I've stopped like listening to music and when I'm out cycling I totally just like focus in on what I'm doing, totally zone in. And I don't like the position I sit in when I'm on a racer, it makes me nervous. I like being upright. That's the beauty of cycling is I know every day no matter what the weather is it's going to be 25 minutes. Anything big I have, I carry on the bike. So the, one of the things was a mattress. I brought a mattress back from my studio. The most disturbing point would be when I have to cycle along the keys and there's a lot of cars around and it's more on the pollution and briefing that. You know, I make sure that I'm always well visible. I have the lights, as you can see, and the uh, high visibility jacket and all this stuff, you know, so I make sure people can see me this. I think that the process of it really represents what we are doing here. It's such a collaborative process to, to generate ideas for Dublin's bid for European Capital of Culture. The bike idea was just uh, such a, a lovely compliment to what we were doing. It's available here in the office for anyone to decide to come and uh, borrow it, to go and visit someone, to run an errand, and uh, we'd really encourage people to make the most of it. Yeah,